this morning i was reading a beautifully written piece by a noted carnatic vocalist chitra shri krishna and the title of the piece is songs of freedom the idea of liberty is woven into the fabric of indian poetry and what i'm going to share with you is something that i imbibed this morning and which i have of course known of all through the years in 500 ce tiruvalluvar in his classical tirukkural used three phrases in main innatato yadenin what is worse than poverty that is the that's the constitutional question which dr ambedkar asked us what is worse than poverty in the 12th century akka mahadevi used two words she said chenna malikarjuna which means god resides in her heart now when she said that god resides in her heart she was not making a statement of religion or spirituality as much as a statement for the emancipation of women the autonomy of women the dignity of women in the 14th century chokha mela who was belong to the mahar community wrote that famous devotional hymn which is folklore to all of us coming from maharashtra abir gulal udai taranga ranga and what he meant by that was he referred to the deity dancing outside a temple amidst gulal being thrown and saying please give me at least a glimpse of the deity kabir spoke of the nirguni bhajan and then much later gurudev rabindranath tagore referred to khonchor paaki chilo the conversation between two birds when one asked the other would you prefer to the would, would you prefer the security of being caged to the uncertainty of freedom our constitution made the choice for us we chose in 1950 the uncertainty of freedom and what is happening today say in bangladesh is a clear reminder of us how precious liberty is for us many of the young lawyers today or most of them are the post independence generation i myself am the post independence generation but many of you are the post emergency generation therefore it's very easy to take freedom for granted it is simple to take liberty for granted but it's important that we dwell on the stories of the past to remind us how precious liberty is and what an important role which we as judges and lawyers play in an institution the preservation of liberty